Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little book haul for you all because my sister just got married last weekend and I have been in a whirlwind of prepping for it and I was her maid of honor so I was getting ready with my speech and all the different preparations that we had to do for the wedding. The wedding went perfectly. It was literally just the best day ever filled with the best people and a lot of happy tears. It was just an incredibly wonderful, perfect day. And now I am so excited because now my sister and her husband are officially married and I'm so happy for them and life can get back a little bit to normal um, where I can start uploading more videos more regularly and start doing more work. I'm planning an Etsy shop for soon so I'm very excited to I guess get back into the swing of things but anyway today I have a little mini book haul because I haven't gone book shopping in a little while. I love my local library because well for many reasons I love supporting my library but also they have a wonderful program where they have a little bookshop and in this little bookshop you can donate your books for free and then they will resell them. Paperbacks are a dollar and hardcovers are two dollars and all the money that they make in their bookshop gets recirculated into the library. So it's a wonderful way to support my local library and also to buy secondhand books. So I have my tote bag full of some books and I'm excited to show you guys what I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six books um, and I'm very excited about all of them. So I will just start showing you what I have in here. What should I show you first? I'm going to show you this one first because I just recently read this one. I watched the movie, then I read the book, and then I saw it at the library and I was like, oh, it's a sign, I need to get it. So, that is The Bridges of Madison County by Robert James Waller. And I have heard so much about the movie The Bridges of Madison County and it has Meryl Streep and Clint Eastwood and Clint Eastwood directed it as well and starred in it and I have heard amazing things about it. And then recently I was in the mood for a romance and it came up on one of the streaming services under the romance category because I just love a romance. And I was like, you know what? I've heard so much about it. I want to watch it. I watched it. I fell in love with it and immediately had to read the book. So I listened to the audiobook because I didn't have a copy of it and I wanted to read it as quickly as possible. And they actually had an audiobook that is narrated by the author and that is something that I absolutely love doing. I love listening to audiobooks narrated by the author because they express the story in the way that they intended for it to be spoken and for it to be read and for it to be written so I really love doing that and then they had three copies of the Bridges of Madison County in this wonderful little hardback and I was very excited to see it so I had to get it I read the book I loved it it's just such a sweeping based on a true story about this man and woman's connection and it's incredible if you love a romance I highly recommend you read it uh, I don't want to say too much about it because I feel like it isn't very long and either watch the movie not knowing too much or read the book not knowing too much. I just, all I can say is that the connection that these two characters have is palpable and it is kind of, it has essences of Anna Karenina. Um, that's all that I will say. Um, but. It is just a brilliant book and I loved it so much so when I saw it at the library for two dollars because it's a hardback I was very excited so I picked that up. I'm going to move my stars over and just put that right there. The next book um, I will show you this one. This is Gossamer by Lois Lowry. Lois Lowry is the writer of The Giver Quartet, so The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. I think it's in that order. And that is one of the first series that really got me into reading. And The Giver is one of The Giver Quartet as a whole is one of my favorite book series and books in general. And I love Lois Lowry. I also love her book Number the Stars, and so I really love her her work. Um, and she is obviously a middle grade writer and I have never read Gossamer before and I haven't seen many copies of it around so when I saw it at my library in this really nice hardback I thought that this was a perfect opportunity for me to read more of her work. Um, and I believe this has something to do with dreams so I will just read the inside flap. 
Where do dreams come from? What stealthy nighttime messengers are the guardians of our most deeply hidden hopes and our half-forgotten half fears? Drawing on her rich imagination, two-time Newbery medalist, medal winner, Lois Lowry confronts these questions and explores the conflicts between the gentle bits and pieces of the past that come to life in dream and the dark horrors that find their way in nightmare. In a haunting story that tiptoes between reality and imagination, two people, a lonely, sensitive woman and a damaged, angry boy, face their own histories and discover what they can be to each other. Renewed by the strength that comes from a tiny, caring creature they will never see. So that sounds amazing. I'm really fascinated by dreams. That's something that I think is just very interesting, the concept of dreams and um, what inspires our dreams and how to evaluate dreams um, and to make it a bit more imaginative with this creature and who controls our dreams. I think that's really interesting. And I love the title, Gossamer. Um, so yes, I'm very excited to read that. And I'm excited for a new Lois Lowry. And I really, I really do want to reread The Giver Quartet because I haven't read it in years. I used to try to read it every year, at least just the first one, The Giver. Um, then I found this one, which I was super happy to see. And that is Kristen Hanna's The Four Winds. And this is a beautiful new hardback because this is her most recent uh, publication, her most recent book, and I love Kristen Hanna. Two, her, my two favorite of hers is The Nightingale and The Great Alone, and I have been really wanting to read The Four Winds, but I just haven't picked up a copy for some reason. I really don't know why, but how beautiful is this cover? I just, I adore it. Her worlds are so vivid and I just get lost in her writing. Her earlier work I have tried to read and I don't love it as much. You can definitely see how much she's grown as a writer. Um, so her later works are definitely my favorite. So highly recommend you read Kristen Hanna. The stories that she captures you just fall right into and you feel like you're really truly a part of them. Um, and I don't know much about the Four Winds and I don't want to know too much. But yes, I highly recommend The Nightingale and The Great Alone. Those are two of my favorite books of all time ever. She's one of my favorite contemporary writers. So very, very excited to read this one. And so happy to see like a beautiful new hardback of that edition. Then the next one that I got was The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCullough. This is, I believe, Australian, if I am not mistaken. Yes, Australia. Um, and I have heard so much about, I think it's a movie or a miniseries. I think it's a movie. And when I picked it up at the library, the woman behind the counter was like, oh my god, the thorn birds, and seemed to love it as well. So I don't know too much about this. I think it's a family saga. Um, do I want to read the flap or do I not? Sometimes I feel like I want it to be... Mm. I wanted to be surprised. Okay, the first sentence says, The Thornbirds is a robust romantic saga of a singular family, the Clearies. That's all, that's all I want to know. Um, but yes, I feel, for some reason, this book gives me summer vibes for literally no reason because I know nothing about it. <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense. Um, but I was very excited to see this. This one is pretty hefty, so I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but it does give me summer feelings, so I might try to read it sooner rather than later. But I have heard wonderful things about the Thornbirds. I know quite a few of you, when I asked you what your favorite books were, um, you guys told me the Thornbirds, so very excited to read that one. Then the last two that I have are by the same author, one that I have read, one that I have not read but I've heard amazing things about, and that is Cormac McCarthy's First is The Road, and second is Blood Meridian. Um, I read The Road in high school, and I really loved it. That was when we were doing a lot of dystopian literature, um, and I remember just really enjoying his writing style, but I haven't read anything from him since, and I know he has such a huge fan base, so many people love his work, and I know he has quite a few books out. I think he just released a new book as well, or it's in two volumes or something. It had beautiful, beautiful covers, I remember that. Um, 
But anyway, so I have read The Road. I would like to reread it. But also, I have been recommended Blood Meridian before by a few people um, because it is, I feel like, one of his most popular works. But I know it is quite a harrowing dark book, I believe. It says, based on the historical events that took place in the Texas-Mexico border in the 1850s, Blood Meridian is an epic novel that traces the fortunes of the kid, a 14-year-old Tennessean, who stumbles into a nightmarish world in which the market for Indian scalps is thriving. Oh, wow. Yes, that sounds quite, uh, quite intense. I believe people have described it as gruesome, which I don't usually have a problem with, but I'm really excited to read more Cormac McCarthy because I feel like he's one of those authors that I would really enjoy. Um, so yes, I would like to maybe reread The Road or maybe listen to the audiobook since I've already read it. Sometimes I like doing that and then give Blood Meridian a go. Um, but yes, those are all the books that I got at my library recently. Um, today and I went the other day, so it was two, two little collective hauls. There was another book that I wanted to get there, The Illuminaries. Um, I forgot the writer, the author, um, but that wasn't there anymore, which was sad, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so that is my little haul and catch up. Um, I am going to, I am reading a really great book right now, My Policeman by Bethan Roberts. I'm really enjoying because it's going to be a new film with uh, um, Harry Styles. I'm loving it so far and I am definitely just really in the mood to read and create and so I'm excited and film of course so I'm excited to get back into my workflow and give you guys more content and make more content because that's my favorite thing ever. So anyway, um, I am so excited that I get to update you guys, tell you that the wedding went amazingly, show you some new books that I got, and I would love to hear how you guys are doing. If you have read in any of these books, if you want me to talk about any of these books, let me know. Let me know what you're reading. Um, yeah, let me know how you're doing. So I will see you very soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching and all of your support and all of your kindness. You all mean the world to me. I will see you in a new video very soon. Happy reading.